you see who I've got with me today? She doesn't want to go out from the bedroom, but she's making a bit of a fuss. So you might hear her. Borita, huh? Borita, Rob. De clean, have you? De clean Monday today. Okay, should my towel wait and make a log? My cool, not cold. Cool, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, let's hope the sun comes out later. So that's the weather. Now then, should I tea? Hello, how are you today? <gasps> Shall we sing our song again? Have you been practising? Somebody has. I'll show you in a minute. I'll get my pictures. So we could say, Borda Frindia, should doi tea? Borda Frindia, should doi tea? Borda Frindia, should doi tea? Da yam da yam di yok. That's a good one, isn't it? We'd like it if you were if you were feeling very good. That'd be fine. Um, what about this one? Borada frindi I should do tea. Borada frindi I should do tea. Borada frindi I should do tea. Do it where deeply no. That's not so good, is it? But sometimes in the morning, that is how you are. What about... Oh, dear. Don't really want you to be feeling like this. Borrowed a friend, I should do tea. Borrowed a friend, I should do tea. Borrowed a friend, I should do tea. Doing of na do Oh. Don't want you to feel like that, really could just pretend now then I am very very pleased to tell you somebody sent me a lovely video of themselves singing that song should we have a look Holly Hearn here we go Holly's recorded herself singing Borda Frindy ready <laughs> What do you think of that? How clever is that? So I sent that to Mrs Hall and she was very excited. Now if anybody else wants to learn it or by themselves, send me a video. We'll send it to Mrs Hall. Is that okay? Okay. Now, it's a, stop groaning. Moaning dog. She's just had to have a bath because she's a bit stinky and she's not very happy about having a bath. So she's moaning now. Anyway, let's have a look at our sounds. I made some cards just so we can practice. Are you ready? Ready for a challenge? See if you can remember what all these say. These are all the sounds we've done so far. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Let's see if Sam can see that one. Okay, remember what that one says? It's s. That sound says this one <gasps> remember that one ah 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 ounce on my arm that sound says ah next one what does this one say remember t t t t t i think watch the tennis game this sound says t t t about this one <gasps> Can you remember what this one says? <gasps> pa, pa, pa. This sound says, pa, puff out the candles on the pink pig cake. Shush now. Oh, what a noisy girl. Just because you don't know these letters, I'm making an old fuss. Shush now. Fuss bucket. Okay. Oh! Two more. Remember this one? Ready? I, I, I. Remember Inky Mouse? This sound says I. And, oh no, we did that one. This way. This one says, remember, this is from last week. Mm, remember the aeroplane? This sound says mm. I think we're going to have to let Pepper out now. It's really tricky because Sam's got the camera started. Peppa, you want to come and lie down? Oh, the 
boys and girls are listening when you're making your sad sound? Don't know. Don't know what our problem is today. She's a bit of a misery cut. Okay, so did you remember some of those? Well done if you did. We've got a game to play today with our sounds. I've got my new baking tray. Happy me. Uh, I put the letters on there. So we've got it, it, p, p, t, t, mm, ah, and s. And then I've got some picture cards. So we're going to see which letter we need to be the first sound in these words. So our first one, can you see that, Sam? Yeah, there we go. It's a uh, tiger. Tiger, say that word. Tiger, now, tiger starts with one of these letter sounds. Which one could it be? Is it this one? No, that's a p. It's not a tiger. Is it this one? That's a s. And this is not a tiger, is it? No. It's a tiger and it starts with a t, 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 and a t is here t for tiger right there's going to be a bit of a wobble now because we're going to try and get um pepper out from the room and she's got to go under sam's camera so it might wobble Ooh, wobbly 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 go on then your fuss bucket oh she's gone what a fussy dog today so tiger starts with well done. Put that back over there. Ready. See that? Remember? It's a, a house made from ice. It's an igloo. Igloo. Say that word. Igloo. Starts with... I, I, I. So we got to find it now. Is it... Tell me when to start. What there? Tiglu, is that right? No, it's not a tiglu. Starts with I. Did you say that one? I, I, igloo. Well done if you said I for igloo. Another one. <laughs> it's a nest. Say that word. Nest starts with did you say? Did you say s? Is it a cest? Starts with a mmm. So we're going to find mmm now. Let's have a see where it could mmm be. <gasps> Shout out when you can see it. <gasps> Is it this one? No. That's a t. That would make test. And that's not right, is it? No, no, no. It's yeah. Woo. Slide it over. Get it the right way up. Mmm, finessed. Well done if you said mmm. I got some more of those. We'll play some more of those next time. Thinking about how words are made from sounds, okay? And we're saying the words so we can hear the sounds and then we're finding the right letters. Right, well done. I'm going to put some links up to some worksheets that I found, some Jolly Phonics ones and some other ones where you've got to cut out the sound. So I'm going to put those up. There's lots to be going on with there if you want to do small letter work. So that's for um, mums and dads to have a look at. OK, we're going to do a little bit more science work today. It's quite a sciencey topic, this one. And um, I've got something here to show you. Let's have a look. Okay. Can you see there? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a bottle. What do you think's inside it? Water. You're right. It is water. But there's something else in there as well. Ha ha. Can you see it? You can't see it. It's a little bit special. Shall I tell you what else is in there? Got to bend down. This is in there. It, well, the bottle isn't. But this is salt. Salt. And there's quite a lot of salt in this bottle. 
Shall I show you how I made this? It's really easy and you could do this as well. So let's have a look. I took some photos while I made it. So, first of all, you just need a bottle. I use quite a big bottle. But you could use a smaller one as well because they've got the same size top and that's the important thing. Okay, but I used a big one. Just so I'm going to show it to you so it needs to be quite big so there's my big bottle it's in the sink and i've emptied it and shaken all the water that was in it out there was a little bit of water left but i emptied that out then i took the label off because you can see more clearly so i peeled off the label okay can you see there and then what i did i got my um tub of salt and i poured salt into the bottle no water in there now just some salt and quite a lot of salt now have a look i'm going to show you how much salt i put in there it is can you see it at the bottom of the bottle it's quite a pile of salt what color is the salt it's white palu de salt gwyn dia gwyn so there's quite a pile of salt in there then what i did then was i filled the bottle not quite to the top but nearly with warm water out of the tap. It could be cold, I used warm. I think it works better, okay. Right, so that's how I made it. So then what I had to do, you can come back to me now, Sam. Um, I had to do this, are you ready? And I did that 10 times. Do you wanna help me count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I kept it still and I waited because there's quite a lot of bubbles in there. There's lots of little bubbles going all the way up to the top. If you give it a minute, and then you have a really good look and you can see clearly because there's no label the salt has disappeared i can't see the salt but you know what it hasn't gotten it's still in there but why can't i see it because something very special has happened to that salt and i'm going to teach you a really important new word now are you ready the salt has dissolved <gasps> say that word dissolved and that means it's mixed into the water so much that you can't even see it anymore it's just in the water and you can't see it but you know what if you tasted this water now you shouldn't do it because it would be horrible you'd be able to taste the salt because the salt's still there. And do you know what? That's like the water in the sea. We usually go to the seaside at this time. Our topic's about the seaside. We're still learning things even though we can't go. If you ever go to the seaside and you go in the sea and have a paddle and then you have a little swim, if you get the water from the sea in your mouth, ugh, it tastes terrible because in the seawater there's lots of salt you can't see it but it's in there and this water is just like that the water has salt dissolved into it okay now when we do the we make these in nursery smaller ones and we make them into seaside treasure bottles like under the sea pirate treasure uh, so what we do is we put the salt in first and then we put perhaps some nice clean sand i usually buy clean sand for this new what new sand a new bag so a bit of salt, then some sand, and then things like some little pebbles or some tiny shells. We could have some little fish, put them in, from um, sequin material actually, very sparkly. Some little beads, tiny little coins if we've got them, so it's like a treasure at the bottom of the sea scene. And then what we do is we put the top on tight and we shake it up just like I showed you and see what happens see what dissolves and what doesn't dissolve i wonder if the sand dissolves i wonder if the beads dissolve i wonder if the salt dissolves 
So you could make one like that. I'm going to do something a little bit different today that I've never done before. Ooh, a bit scary. I'm going to use it to make a number bottle because we were doing mm last week and I thought numbers. How can I use numbers? So in my um, salt bottle, salt water bottle, I'm going to try and put some numbers. Now, I did have a go with another bottle earlier to see if I could get my numbers in there. And I had terrible trouble with two numbers because they wouldn't fit. So I haven't got those. I haven't got a uh, number two. I might have it, but I don't think it's going to fit. And I haven't got a zero because that wouldn't go in at all. It was too fat. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some numbers into my bottle. Eight. They're a bit small, but I'm sure you can see them. Oh, that's that one. Oh, number three. Put that one in. Big push. Come on, bottle. There we are. Uh, number seven. Green number seven. He was a bit reluctant to go as well because he's got a big bend in the middle. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Splosh. Uh, five. Fingers crossed for five. And, uh, oh, look. Number two. I've still got it, but I don't think it's going to go in. And I tried it always. He's not going in. Won't have that number. Number... Ooh. Quite small, aren't they? They've got to be to get in. If you had number beads or, or number buttons or something, that would, would work as well. Uh, number six. Just making sure I've got that one the right way up. We know why. <gasps> this one feels like it might be having a bit of a trouble as well. No, he's not going in. He's got a fat tummy. Let's try number nine because he's nearly the same shape. No, see, he's not as fat. So we're going to have to do that two and six and zero, but never mind. So I'm going to put the top back on really tight. I don't want to spill. And then I've got something else a bit scientific here. Do you know what that is? That's my magnet. Now, these are magnetic numbers. So what I'm hoping is, <gasps> please let this work. Ooh. Ooh, the magnet can lift up the numbers. That was number three. Let's see if I can get another one. Just for a little bit of extra scientific fun. Oh, come on, magnet. You can do it. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. Oh, oh, I got him ready. Woo! That was number four. So you can either, if I'm honest, I'm not that thrilled with numbers, uh, you can either do number one like this and see what numbers you can see, or you can try the seaside um, treasure bottle. I think I might have a go at that one. I don't think I've got any sand, but I could do the other stuff, couldn't I? Yeah, I could do that. Um, and have a look. But that important word, you're finding out which things dissolve. Are my numbers dissolving? I'm going to shake. I'm going to shake. They dissolved. Yeah, you can still see them, can't you? They haven't dissolved in the water. Well, that's interesting because they're salted. Have a go. See what you can try and find out. I'm not very thrilled with the numbers. I think I'll just stick to the seaside one next time. Okay. Oh, songs. Now, if we're in the nursery doing our seaside um, topic, we would be doing some seaside songs and I love these songs so we will learn a couple and then when you next get to go to the seaside perhaps you can sing some there so the first one is called the fish in the sea okay and there's some actions with this one as well so you can help me it's really easy to go the fish in the sea go swim 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 Swim, 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 the fish in the sea. Go swim, 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 all day long. Did you make your hand into a, into a fish swimming through the water? Right, now this time we need to be jellyfish. The jellyfish are very wobbly. Can you wobble? Ooh. Here we go. The jellyfish in the sea. Go wibble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wibble, wobble. 
Wibble, wibble, wobble, the jellyfish in the sea go wibble, wibble, wobble all day long. Last one. I know you love a shark. We need to do a shark. And they're going to go snap, snap, snap with their big jaws, big teeth. Ready? The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 snap. Snap, 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 the sharks in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. I'm happy now, done with my seaside songs. There are more verses to that, I usually make some up. So if you want to make up another uh, verse to that, think about another creature that lives in the sea. Think about what action they might do or what noise they might do and you can make another verse. I might have another one for you next time. Okay, right. That's it for today. It's time to go. Hope you've all had a lovely weekend and had lots of fun. And I hope the weather comes a bit better this week. It's not been too brilliant, has it? But we need the rain, so that's good. But let's have a, I hope you have a little bit of sunshine now to go out and play. Right, so I will see you on Wednesday. Have a lovely couple of days. Give me a big wave now and we'll say bye. -bye.